Hello and welcome to Momotai. Today I will be talking to you about something that has been very much in the limelight and very controversial and I will also be drawing some very cute versions of some rare Indian animals and birds and you'll understand why very soon because we'll be talking about EIA or the Environmental Impact Assessment. Basically, it is a formal legal process which examines, evaluates and predicts the environmental effect of any developmental project or program. So, recently in 2020, the government has redrafted this or the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has redrafted the EIA to make it more transparent and make the processes faster. Because what they claim is that uh, these kind of clearances often delay some developmental projects that would otherwise be very beneficial to the economy in terms of creating livelihood and in terms of providing access through roads to various different remote parts of the country which can lead to further development of those parts of the you know of the country which you get my point so that is what the government's perspective is now the reason there has been significant debate on this entire draft is because of three things the first is that it allows for ex post facto clearance of projects which means that projects which have already started can apply for environmental clearance later now even if the environmental clearance for such project is rejected ultimately the damage done to the environment would be irreparable also the second point is that it uh, there is there are certain projects that have exclusion from prior environmental clearance such as sand deposits removal from agricultural fields and community works are done away with prior ep or ec and according to this new draft the construction of buildings below 150000 square meters which is approximately the size of a small airport or stadium do not require environmental clearance are the um, monitoring authorities doing enough because the third point is that the draft contains a provision for both cases of violation and non compliance reported by the project proponent or the government authority it did not enable the public to submit such reports of non compliance and violation and I think this very strongly goes against the entire parent act because if the people, the local stakeholders uh, are not given a say in the matter, then you're taking away a lot of power from them in terms of their own environment and their own livelihoods. Because every individual has the right to live in a safe, clean environment. Now this video basically will lead up to a fundraiser for an organization called the Lok Biradri Prakalp. Now I'll give you a little bit of a background here. It was started by this person called Baba Amte and initially his work started when he started following Gandhism. He set up uh, clinics and rehabilitation centers for people suffering with leprosy and you know people who are disabled or people who were marginalized in the society. Later on, he founded this Lok Biradri Prakalp to work for the Madhya Gond tribal people of the Gatchiroli district. Right now, his third generation is still working in the area and they have established schools, they have established agriculture, they are pro uh, working on providing livelihood activities to the people. And at the same time, they are also working for the conservation of the environment in the area because the tribals are hugely dependent on the forests of uh, Hemalkasa or the Hemalka, Hemalkasa is the actual place where they are in Gatchiroli district and also they have this very interesting project called the Animal Ark so right now all the tribal people who were initially dependent on hunting have stopped uh, hunting as a means for food because they have developed agriculture in the region and even for uh, festival purposes or for ritual purposes when any animal is hunted if they find that any animals have been orphaned or you know are ill or cannot be taken care of in the natural environment they are brought to this animal ark which is sort of like 
how do i put it a homemade sanctuary for animals and they have a huge variety of animals living there at the animal ark where uh, this amte family is living and i thought this was something really interesting and i thought that all of us could contribute to this work all the work that they are doing in himal kasa and therefore i bring to you the fundraiser woohoo so now talking about the drawing that i'm making i'm drawing five uh, indian species which are very rare and which are dependent on the indian forest surviving the first one you can see in the top left is the malabar giant squirrel which to be very honest i did not even know existed please google some pictures of them because they are absolutely beautiful and the red panda which can be found in eastern india and is one of the cutest animals i have ever seen and then the most commonly seen popular uh, animal or bird which is depicted with india apart from like peacocks and tigers is the ring neck parrot and then there's the great indian hornbill which can be found in the konkan belts of our country and lastly there is the black leopard which is only found in india and they are absolutely majestic and beautiful and if they go extinct it would be a huge 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 sad news i mean i'm not saying that other animals are not important they are obviously for the environment for the ecosystem but i personally have a soft spot for cats big and small you know that so basically how you can contribute to this entire fundraiser is by purchasing this sticker pack and 50% of the proceeds that i get will be donated to this organization called lok biradri prakal which is functioning in hemalkasa and i am not deriving any profit out of it for me it's a no profit no loss situation but i thought this is something meaningful that we can do with our time and money while also obtaining cute stickers just saying so to do that what you can do is click on the link uh, in the description i have provided a link to the fundraiser read a little bit about the organization and if you feel that it's worth your time effort and money you can also buy these sticker packs and they will be delivered to you they cost 250 rupees each and they in, that includes the delivery charges and you can you know support this project of mine and in the long run support the organization and their work so lastly uh, i want to tell you that in case you are unable to you know contribute monetarily help me spread the word help me uh, reach more people so that we can raise a substantial amount for the amazing amazing work that this organization is doing in the tribal districts of maharashtra and together i'm hoping all of us can raise 1 lakh rupees at least i think we can do it so yeah that's all for now enjoy watching me pack all the materials and yeah i worked really hard on the packaging this time i think i wanted to make it extra cute because it's an extra special project and i'll just play some music now and leave you to it also by the way the music in today's video is also special because it has been provided by a very special friend himanshu gupta and you can find his music and his in the you know other work in on his instagram account which has been linked below and he has been very kind to provide this music for the video so i'll see you guys next time till then take care of yourself stay hydrated stay conscious and i mean conscious in terms of the environment and the happenings in the world i don't mean stay conscious as in you know guys sometimes i think i just rant on a bit too much anyway take care of yourselves bye bye